Hello YouTube, this is XX I know like PSPXX aka PSP Slim Hacks. Um, today I'm going to show you on how to install Remote Joelite on your PSP. What is Remote Joelite? Remote Joelite is a program uh, that you can see your PSP screen into your desktop of your computer. Like, for example, I already got it right there. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm moving both of the screens. You can maximize the screen to full screen, which is that's pretty decent. Like in case if you want to record anything from the PSP and all of that, so that's kind of decent. All right, let's go to the computer and show you on how to install it. All right, let's go. We're at the computer right now, oh man. You want to go to Mega Upload, click the link in the description. It's a mega upload file. I uploaded it myself, so there's no viruses or anything. It's about 400 kilobytes. You download it, and once you finish downloading, double click it, and then there's supposed to be two more WinRAR folders. Oh, and you also need WinRAR to extract the file, so make sure you have that. In all my basic tutorials, make sure to have WinRAR. And then uh, open up Type P, Type B driver install. Then PSP Type B, then Type B again. And then if I mess it up in Vista or in Windows 7, just click allow, continue, or yes. Click next, I accept, next, finish. Then you close that one out, open remote joy light. Then you could exit out of that. And then double click it. And then now connect your PC to your computer. And then click on open folder to view files. And then uh, if you don't have if you have custom firmware there, there's this folder named SE Plus Logins. If you don't then double click it and I mean right click and then create a new folder, name it SE plugins and all that. Now what you want to do is you drag the remote draw light that PRX into the SE plugins. Oh I cannot do that because I already have it. Um and then um and then go to VSH. If you don't have a VSH text document, then uh, create one. You copy and paste this code. Now I'm gonna have this in the description, so don't worry about it. And then uh, go to the game aim txt on the SE plugins. Double click it. If you don't have one, then create one. And then go to SE plugins. Copy the same code from VSH the same code don't worry I will have this in the description so you don't have to worry about anything alright now let's go back to the PSP once you're finished with all of that exit out USB hit select go to reset device and hold the right trigger alright in the VSH menu go to configuration and make sure that that uh, charge battery I don't know if you can see it. Charge battery when USB cable plug. Make sure it's disabled. Don't enable it. And then go back. Go to plugins. And then there's supposed to be a plugin name. Remote Joylight.prx for VSH. Enable that. I already have it enabled, so there's no need to do that. And then there's another plugin name. Remote Joylight.prx for the game. And enable that. And then once you enable it, go back and exit out. Alright, let's go to the computer right now. It's supposed to be restarting. Alright, now what you want to do is I'll go to the folder you download it. I don't know why is it doing that. And then now what you want to do is connect the USB cable to the computer and and now it says installing device software and then it says device driver software installed successfully once you finish all of that go to go to the folder you downloaded which is remote joli go to remote joli 017 Go to PSP, I mean Remote Joylight folder, and then go to Remote Joylight.exe, and there it is. There it is. That's that's all you need to do. 
Oh uh, well, this is XX on Ain't No Life right here. PSP Slim Hacks. Uh, comment, thumbs up, and subscribe. Please subscribe for more PSP tutorials. Alright, this is XX Ain't No Life. Bye.